good afternoon guys welcome back into my channel so in this demo we're going to create us i mean a static website for on our s3 bucket so first thing first what we should consider doing is to go to a text editor let's say for instance um I go here, I create a new file. I will name this what? Let's say I named, I save this as, let's say we call this S3. S3 bucket that, HTML. It's just have to be on HTML. I mean, an HTML folder. Let's save this. It's too vague. All right, I'm gonna put this just on the desktop. So then, what we will do? We could switch back here, and um, just to make this process faster, I'm not gonna have time to. Hmm mistake here mm. okay i think i i'll figure it out so i'm not gonna have time to code this from scratch and just go ahead and copy this this um this code here and paste it here now what i should do is i should have let's go here let's go on so uh, let's download this. It's basically all I need. Because I'm using a different computer, though. I'm using, since I'm using a different laptop, so that's why. So, then let me switch back to the text editor. I'm using brackets. How do I put this? So, IMG. I gotta create a folder, IMG. Got to create a folder IMG. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. So basically, um, all I do, all I can do is let's go and download. Create a folder. Let's create a folder. Let's name this S3 bucket. Let's call it S3. And inside of this folder, I can put my HTML file. Where is it at? Bucket.html should be here somewhere. Let's look for it. Thought I'd save this here. Yeah. Or maybe not. Okay, so let me just switch back here. Save. See so where we can put this. Okay. So let's put this here. Inside of here. Let me show you how to my folder. Okay. S3 bucket.html. Now, inside of this folder, I can switch back. Oh, sorry. I can switch back. I can switch back to desktop here and I have an image. I mean, I have a folder inside of this folder named image. Tell you what, I just put that here, but I can what I'll create. I'll create a folder name image. Let's call it IMG. And inside here, I can take my Brixel, copy it, switch back into the IMG folder, and just paste it here. 
Okay. So now, I think all I will need to do is to do S3 forward slash, no, it's IMG. So it'll be just IMG and then we'd go here. See, okay, so it's right there. So let's save all. Um, see if it works. But basically, okay, it ought to be launch. Could do that. Okay, is responsive image. Let's just say, let me create an. Take my time here. Let me create an H1. Say H1 tab. Oh, doesn't work. Say H1. Let's call it. This is. This is the picture. Of Brixel Airport. The last time. I was in Europe. Okay, then let me save all. And if I was to try this year now, be sure it should work. Come on. All right, so, um, I'm not sure why this doesn't show up, but um, but that's how it should work. So basically, now all we gotta do is just um, we'll go ahead and switch into AWS. Oh, yeah, whatever. Let's just switch into AWS. Let's just switch into AWS. Um, where is it? Okay, let's just switch. It's right in. Where's my AWS folder? Okay. Um, console management, not sure. Password and the multi-factor, CO0, it's already changed to 464 and 085. Now, we would go to S3 bucket. So basically, okay, so I will go here and I will go to property. Properties, I mean, I will scroll all the way down into where it says static, static website. I will click on edit. I will enable it. So now that I enable this, I will have the host of a static website is this. So the index document that I will give it a name as S3 bucket, S3 bucket dot HTML document error. Okay. 
So let's see what else that I got to do. Just give me one second. So as you notice that it says that for, for your customer to access content, bang, bang, bang. So for your customer to access content, you must make all your content publicly readable. So just save. Now make sure that your, you allow public access. And from here, once I switch back here, I will upload my HTML folder. So add, let's go to desktop, let's go here, let's grab that. And it's here. So now we would upload it. And we will close. Now, I will switch back to properties. I will scroll down. Now I should pick this URL and open up a new browser and paste it here. So our image doesn't show really well, but that's basically what that is. We could work on that just for a moment. Now it's doing this. Now let's see if we can make that work. Uh, launch. It doesn't work. Cancel. I'm not sure why it doesn't work because the image is right there. So let's switch back. But th this is basically the idea. You see everything. This is the picture of Brexit Ring Ring that I wrote. So let me troubleshoot this and I'll come back to you on this. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.